because it's God's way. Welcome, Welcome to Kids, to Kids Church. Church. Welcome to Kids Church. Welcome to Kids Church. Welcome to Kids Church. Here's the lesson. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Mm. <sighs> Impatience. Hurry up. Let's go now. I'm so unhappy waiting. Well, it's very, very common to be impatient, and it's a very, very common problem. Not having patience, not being able to wait, causes a lot of unhappiness, and unhappiness for everyone, too. It spreads, right? The impatient person is unhappy, and the person they're rushing becomes unhappy. So it's unhappiness all around. <sighs> Oh, what you say? But it's natural. Doesn't everybody hate to wait? No. So many things that we're impatient about are things we think we need right now. However, what we really need is patience. Patience is God-pleasing. Patience is a fruit of the Spirit. It's a quality a person has, like kindness. We say some people are kind and some people are patient. It's an outlook, it's an attitude. Patience is having good character. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a sign of wisdom, and it's simply the best way to be because it's God's way. The Bible teaches us to be patient just because God loves us and wants the best for us. Being patient leads to the best ending in life. Well, the clearest example of this is how God himself had patience with many of his chosen people. Although they were famous leaders, they weren't perfect people, and their faith was weak sometimes. But eventually, they did great things. You see, God was patient with Jonah and Abraham and Moses and David and so on. Although they didn't listen, God was patient with them because he knew in time they would do great things, and they did. They did heroic acts of faith. And now, we too are called to be patient, just as God has shown us his patience. Let's make this easy to understand. Here's the situation. Let's pretend you drive. You're late for a party. Oh, I'm late. Oh, you come to a red light. Red means stop and wait for the green light. You go, oh no, come on. I don't have time for this you have a choice. One, be patient, calm, and wait, and go when the light turns green. Or two, be impatient, and yell, and grumble, and be mad, and go when the light turns green. So what do you choose? The light doesn't change faster for the crabby complainer. Okay, but also in more serious troubles, like illness, you know, I can't wait to get better. Oh, or if you're treated unkindly, you're a bully. Patience, again, is wisdom. In patience, we carry hope with us, the possibility of things turning around and getting better. The Bible even says, don't stop hoping. Everyone has troubles, and the Bible teaches us those who have accepted their troubles with patience now have God's blessing. Think, think. Of course, we don't know the right time for everything, but God does. And so he tells us to be patient. Okay, patience is best, but where's it come from? Patience comes from trust in God. It's a benefit from having a right spirit. God's Spirit gives us patience, patience that we need to have the best life and then eternal life in heaven. Let's be patient and follow God's lead. It takes practice, but the reward is wonderful. So let's bow our heads and fold our hands to pray. Dear Lord, only you know the right time for everything. Let us completely trust in you as our loving God and accept our troubles with patience, 
knowing that in the right time and in the right way, you will bless us. May we work to be patient with everyone in our lives all the time and therefore follow your example of love. Thank you for your patience and your will to gather us all into heaven. How great you are, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. God's blessings to you, everyone. Now go out there and be patient. <laughs> Would you please like our video and subscribe to our channel? Because then you are helping us share Jesus. Thank you. Here's the music. Here's the music. Here's the music. <laughs> This is a song about patience. Don't be bothered in case of delay. Your heavenly Father shows you the way. Don't be troubled if things aren't right away. The Spirit of God sends you strength. It's called patience. The ability to wait, staying calm, strong in faith, patience. I'll be okay, trusting in God, being strong in faith, trusting in God's plan, accepting what we don't understand, trusting in God's plan, accepting what we don't understand, patience, overcomes change, patience is wisdom, patience is the way, patience builds endurance, hope that doesn't fade, patience is wisdom, patience is the way. Don't be bothered in case of delay. Your heavenly Father shows you the way. Don't be troubled if things aren't right away. The Spirit of God will send you strength. Trusting in God's plan, accepting what we don't understand. Trusting in God's plan, accepting what we don't understand. Patience defies disappointment. It's a better life and way. It's a sign. It's a sign, it's a sign, it's a sign, it's a sign of faith. Oh, hello. And now, what was the point with Pierre? and his friends. Oh, Pierre, you have many bird friends and, and bird and fish friends. And Jesus, our best friend. <laughs> Does anybody remember what was the point of today's Bible lesson? Hmm, just think about that. How about you? How about you? How about you? <laughs> oh, Pierre. Okay, what was the point of today's Bible lesson. <laughs> what was the point of today's Bible lesson? Ooh, very good. I hope everybody was listening. Pierre said, the point of today's Bible lesson was God loves us and he wants us to have the best life. And it's important for us to have patience if we're gonna have the best life. Yes, even though it's not easy and we have to practice, patience is a really great thing to have. It comes from God and God has shown us patience. Did you know that? Here's the reading. A reading from the book of James, chapter 5. Brothers and sisters, be patient. The Lord will come. So be patient until that time. Look at the farmers. They have to be patient. They have to wait for their valuable crop to grow and produce a harvest. They wait patiently for the first rain and the last rain. 
you must be patient too. Never stop hoping the Lord is coming soon. Brothers and sisters, don't complain against each other. If you don't stop complaining, you will be judged guilty and the judge is ready to come. Brothers and sisters, follow the example of the prophets who spoke for the Lord. They suffered many bad things, but they were patient. And we say that those who accepted their troubles with patience now have God's blessings. You have heard about Job's patience. You know that after all his troubles, the Lord helped him. This shows that the Lord is full of mercy and is kind. This is the word of the Lord. God's blessings! God's blessings! God's blessings! blessings. God's blessings! Kids Church